Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. So today, I just want to show you a video that I made because somebody was asking me, he's in uh, tracking school, and so they wanted, uh, they were asking me about backing up in a straight line. Of course, that is the very first thing that we learn when we are learning to back up, backing up in a straight line. So I made a simple video. Uh, I was in a hurry, but I just wanted to show you exactly what it takes to back up in a straight line the whole thing that i want you to pay attention to uh, when you are learning to back up in a straight line is to make sure that you are making small adjustments in your steering wheel do not oversteer and then give it a little bit of time to respond so watch those mirrors uh, closely and as soon as you see that trailer starting to be at one side then you want to turn towards that side just slightly and give a, give it some time. Be patient with it. Uh, it's not going to uh, be a lot of time, but give it some time to respond and then get back in, in, you know, like where your steering wheel was and then just keep watching those mirrors to see where your trailer is going. And again, you turn towards where the trailer is going. Now, the other thing I, I didn't mention that I should mention, when you're watching the trailer, you are watching the very end part of the trailer, right? because that's the one that will give you an idea of where your trailer is moving. So you're watching the end part of the trailer, what I would call the tail part of the trailer. When you're looking in your mirrors, you want to look at the tail part of the trailer so that you can see where that trailer is moving to. So if it moves to one side, say it moves to the right side, then you slightly want to turn your, steer your steering wheel towards that side, in this case, which is the right side, just a little bit, Give it time to respond a few seconds and then get back to where you were to keep it uh, 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 to keep it straight. So hopefully this video will give you an idea. I know I was in a hurry. I didn't even get an opportunity to, you know, like to show you how the back is reacting. But all I wanted to do is to make a video that will give you an idea, uh, especially in how much turning of the steering wheel you need to do in order not to oversteer. Because if you oversteer, that means you will have to counter steer and it will mean you will again have to probably oversteer to counter steer. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. So hopefully that video will give you an idea. Until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye. Okay, so I just saw this empty space and I want to try and use it. To answer a question that I got from somebody about backing up in a straight line. So I'm going to set up this. Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to see the back, but I want to set it up straight and then kind of give you an idea of what it is. Okay, so you guys can't see behind me, but what I've done is I've put my tire my tires to be straight on the line on the line where the numbers are and I'm going to start backing up straight and the idea of backing up straight as much as possible is to leave your steering wheel you know like don't oversteer that's the whole point not to oversteer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start backing up right and what I want you to pay attention to is how much I move the steering wheel so right now i am going to start i start backing up right and right now um, as i move straight i'm watching my mirror i watch my mirrors to make sure i'm straight anytime i see that my trailer is going so for example right now it's going to the left i turn to the left just a little bit when i turn to the left i wait for it i am not so much in a, in a hurry to turn again because if i turn again that means it's gonna go that side like it is doing right now so that means now for me to turn to take it out i have to overturn it you see what i mean right now i overturned it and then i have to turn it back again but that was for me to show you what i'm talking about when you are moving straight as much as possible move straight don't tamper with it just watch watch your mirrors go at a slow space if you don't tamper with it, it's going to stay small. As soon as you see it starting to veer towards one side, for example, right now it's starting to veer towards my left-hand side, 
I just turn a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, and wait for it. And when I wait for it, as soon as it comes back, right? As soon as I see that it's coming back to where it was before, I want to turn again because right now I'm kind of like correcting it so that my steering wheel can be as it was before. You see what I mean? So the idea is to make it, uh, to keep it as straight as, as you can. When you see it like right now it's going uh, maybe like towards that side, you just turn a little bit. Just a little bit. And uh, when it starts to come back, turn back so that you keep it straight. I don't know if you get the concept. When you see it this side, you turn a little bit. You wait. If you see it going this side, you turn a little bit. You wait. So if you realize all I'm doing is I'm keeping my turns, say for example, if this is the 12 o'clock and this is the 9 and 3, my turns are more like from here, the little turn is to go just a little bit, not even, I don't even go to this place. It's just like, just a little bit and give it time to respond. That's the trick. You just turn a little bit and give it time to respond. So I would say, if you start off in this, like if you're like this, right? And your trailer starts maybe like to go, okay, right now it's straight. You see how this is kind of straight? If I see it's going this side, I'm gonna turn just a little bit like that. You see how it is? And then when it starts to come back, I'm gonna try and bring it back here. And then I, I see where is it. And then of course I'll make that turn accordingly. You see how they're just tiny, tiny turns and give it time to respond. That's the whole idea. For those of you that want to join JB Hunt, just text me your information or you can email me your information and I'll do my best to get somebody to call you with information on uh, what positions are available in your area.